Annual dentist appointments are crucial, and we'll know why because of a simple love story. This is Jake, and he is on his way to pick up his girlfriend, Susanna. Jake and Susanna are madly in love with one another, so much that they're about to lean in forward each other for a kiss until Susanna notice, notices Jake's poor oral health. Susanna has decided to break up with Jake and won't get back with him until he resolves his poor oral health. I'm sure neither you or anyone else would want to be in Jake's position right now, which is why you should schedule an, an annual dentist appointment to prevent tooth decay, gum disease, and a negatively affected self-esteem. However, there are bar barriers that prevent people from attending dental dentist appointments. A lot of the times, people financially struggle to afford dental treatment. And in fact, according to CareQuest for Oral Health, 68.5 million adults in the U.S. lack dental insurance, making it extremely difficult to pay for things such as braces, root canals, surgeries, etc. However, if these individuals decide to not visit the dentist for years and years, and their poor oral health problems start to develop, they'll have a much bigger price to pay in the long term. And there are several opportunities that offer low fee or even free dental treatment. I'd suggest you to go to your dentist because they might refer you to a community clinic that might offer low fee or even free dental treatment. If not, there are also dental schools that offer individuals free dental treatment. For instance, the University of Creighton in Omaha has a program that offers um, elementary students free dental treatment. As we accompany Jake to his dentist appointment, the dentist has diagnosed Jake with tooth decay, which can otherwise be known as cavities. Cavities are a permanent, permanently damaged area within the tooth and can develop into small holes. Cavities cause a lot of, a lot of chewing problems and pain within your mouth and severe health complications. And they're caused by not brushing your teeth well and eating too many sugary sweets. And did you know that cavities are the most common chronic disease for children? And according to the university, India University, Indiana University of Medicine, cavities are five times more common than asthma and seven times more common than hay fever. However, cavities can be treated by dentists, and a way they might treat dentists might help you with cavities is by getting crowns. Not only Jake was diagnosed with tooth gap tooth decay, he is also diagnosed with gum disease. There are different stages of gum disease. There is gingivitis, which is the cause of bacteria building up in a tooth and leading to an infection. And there's a, a more severe type of gum disease, which is periodontitis, a severe infection in the tooth that can cause bone or even tooth loss. And there is a 47.2% a of adults at the age of 30 or older that have some sort of gum disease. Gum disease can only be treated by dentists, and they might um, give, a dentist might give flap surgery to help improve gum disease. I'm sure we are all aware of how crucial and impactful oral, our oral health can be to our lives. It can impact your social life because a lot of individuals might feel embarrassed or uncomfortable in social areas when they have poor dental health. It can also affect your confidence. Not having those straight, per, pearly, shiny teeth can affect the way you feel about yourself. And it can also affect your professional life because a lot of the times people will judge you based off your appearance and might see you as an irresponsible individual if they see that you have poor oral health problems. 
Now that Jake has finally gone back to the dentist and has gotten his oral health problems improved, he is now happy and, and, glad, and can't wait to share with Susanna his developed oral health. And remember, to prevent tooth decay, gum disease, and a negatively affected self-esteem, you should schedule an, an annual dentist appointment, prefer, preferably every six months or so, so that you can achieve a good oral health. These two lovebirds are back with one another. Susanna is very glad, is very proud of Jake, and they now are living happily ever after.